plant that I found in my backyard. Let's see what it is. So it feels really interesting, a little bit like moss. And uh, I'm not really sure what this is called, but let's take a piece of it um, inside so I can uh, figure out what it is. After doing some researching, I found that this plant is called Marchantia. Marchantia is a kind of liverwort found in moist soil. This makes sense because the soil I found it on is frequently watered. So while I'm looking at the plant magnified, I can see that it actually looks really cool. It almost looks like an island. These little craters are called gemma cups. They're actually pretty small, but they're looking huge magnified. The tiny things that look like umbrellas are called gametophores, which makes Marchantia what is called a gametophyte. If I turn it upside down to see what was latched onto the ground, I can see these things that look like roots. But the interesting thing is that they're not actually roots. They are called rhizoids and are only there to hold on to the ground and not for collecting water like normal roots. This plant is non-vascular, meaning they don't have the tissue most plants have for transporting water and nutrients. Instead, moisture and nutrients are absorbed from the air directly into the cells through what is called osmosis, which is really interesting. Let's classify Marchantia. So, how can we classify an organism? Anything that is living can be classified. They can be classified using the classification hierarchy. We can classify organisms based on how closely related they are and how they are built. Scientists arrange organisms into categories based on the attributes or features they have in common. At the top of the hierarchy, meaning the broadest category, is domain. Then comes kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, and finally, the most specific category, species. A good mnemonic to remember the classification hierarchy is Dear King Philip Came Over for Great Spaghetti. The first letter of each word is the same as the first letter in every level of the hierarchy. To classify Marchantia, we first need the domain, which is eukaryote. This domain includes any organism with complex cells, like bears, fish, certain types of flowers, and even humans. Next we need the kingdom, which is plantae. This includes all plants, like the name. Marchantia is part of the phylum that mainly consists of what are called bryophytes. Bryophytes come in all different varieties, and many of them are like a moss or a plant, like Marchantia, that need a moist place to grow. Marchantia is part of the class Marchantiophyta, with mainly liverworts and the order Marchantiales. This order has plants just like Marchantia, with the same build and similar air pores and chambers. These tiny craters I found earlier are found in many liverworts and are actually called gemma cups. Gemma cups help the plant reproduce in the unique way that it does. The family that Marchantia is part of is called Marchantiaceae. Wow, the words just keep getting longer. This family only includes the genus Marchantia. Because the genus Marchantia is so specific, it's hard to know just by looking at the plant in my backyard what the species is exactly, so I'm not sure what kind of Marchantia it could be. So there we have it, we've classified the plant growing in my backyard. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, comment down below, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe. If you would like to know every time I upload a new video, turn on your notifications. Thank you for watching!